I want to start where my time at Augustana started. The bishop's office asked me, what kind of church do you think you'd want to serve? I told them I needed to be somewhere that valued good, contextual, biblical teaching and preaching, somewhere that wanted to serve their neighborhood and the global church, somewhere that loved music of all kinds. I didn't even leave the meeting room before I got asked, have you heard of Augustana? For 11 years and nine months, I have seen these things be true. I've joined with you in the good work of reading scripture, discerning God's will for us, and learning how to be engaged with the world. I've been side by side with you as you serve and celebrate our congregational and local mission partners in dynamic, generous ways. And I've been able to sing with you, with guitars and, and the organ and drums and brass and just our voices raised up. It has been exactly the place that I wanted to be. So as I prepare to say goodbye to you, my heart hurts. I knew goodbye would be hard. You are all dear to me, yes, all of you, and I mean that. But if it's hard to say goodbye, it's infinitely harder to do it when it feels like everything we've known and trusted crumbles apart around us. Pandemics and protests and recession and rancor, it's, it's all too much. Any one of these things would be too much. Leaving you now feels like abandoning you, and, and so I grieve. But I, I know you're not abandoned. I know you're not alone. You have an incredible staff here, ready to keep serving you through this tough and complicated time. You have amazing congregational leadership, volunteers and church council and so much more, and they are all ready to pull together to be the church united. You have each other, a powerful witness to God's goodness. As you write each other cards, give each other a call, get someone groceries, keep praying for each other. Together, with God's grace, you will continue onward into a new, joyful reality, one without me. I have received God's abundant grace through you in ways I cannot even begin to measure. You taught me, you celebrated me, you held me accountable, you stepped up when I asked for help. You told me what you thought about my sermon and it wasn't always positive feedback and you know what, I needed that too. You welcomed my husband, new to the role of clergy spouse. You supported him and me as we welcomed first one baby and then a second both of them so improbable and miraculous and sustained by your teaching and love and prayers. You have been my family's only church home, and you've been a good one. You've been a great one. I get to carry your witness with me into my next call. As many of you have observed, yeah, it really is a huge opportunity and I'm, I'm so excited about it. I am excited about what God is doing with me and through that place and what the future holds for us. I appreciate how you recognize this new thing to which God calls me, even as you and I both lament that this new thing means goodbye but we are part of one faith tradition, one wider church, one body of Christ. And so I rejoice 
that we will continue to be a beloved family, united under our Creator, serving side by side in new ways for the good of the gospel. Here our paths go different ways, but God goes with us. For this, I praise God. For you, I praise God. I love you. And I always will.